welcome back to my channel. Today I am joined by Lily, who is my little long haired chihuahua. She wanted to come and say hello today while I'm filming, so she's going to sit with me while we look at the glossy box for this month. So this is the um, fifth year anniversary box from Glossy Box. So we're gonna do a little bit of an unboxing and the first impressions. I won't lie, I did have a look at this earlier. If you've seen my Snapchat, you'll have seen Alfie trying to rip into it and have a look inside the box earlier. So I have had a little sneak peek of what's inside. So let's have a look in the box and go through what's in it this month. So here is the little menu card that comes inside all of the glossy boxes every month. Um, I'm going to read this out. Some people say they don't like hearing what's on the card, but some do. So for those that don't, just skip forward a little bit and I'll see you in a minute. There goes Alfie with his ball. Every time we sit down to film, the doorbell rings, the dogs start barking, the dogs start playing with the most noisiest toys they've got. It starts raining outside and hammering on the roof so you can't hear a word that I'm saying. So I'm going to try and carry on with this unboxing. Let's see if we make it in less than 10 minutes. I don't think we will. So here is the little card that comes inside all of the boxes. And this month it says, Dear Glosses, we are five years old this month and we're kicking off our birthday celebrations with a collector's edition fifth birthday design in collaboration with Of The Moment Lux accessory label, Ray Feather. <laughs> As always, you'll find your box filled with five glossy greats that no beauty obsessive should be without. We're dedicated to making the upcoming year the best yet. Next month sees Red Magazine's expert beauty team personally editing your monthly box and there is more exciting news to come. Here's to another great year, discovering the best that the beauty world has to offer. So the first thing that's in the box, which we already knew we would be getting in the box, is a Makeup Academy um, eyeshadow palette. So we were asked which colours we would like and I picked, which one was it? Glitter Ball. You might have known. They are quite pigmented, which is what we want. They look really good. It's quite nice. They always... They smell like um, the collection pressed powder, you know, that kind of smell. It reminds me of being in school again and like first dabbling in makeup and buying makeup. I quite like that smell. Um, the next thing in the box is from Spa To You and it's a deep pore cleansing facial brush and massager. So I've tried something like this in the past um, from Soap and Glory and I do really like them. Um, my skin is really really sensitive so if I use this more than twice a week I will break out and my skin will just play absolute havoc with me so I will only use this a couple of times a week if that. The design of this is slightly different to ones that I've tried before. It's designed with soft bristles and silicone cushions to deeply cleanse and gently massage the skin to improve microcirculation, toning and enhancing skin vitality. So that sounds really interesting, I'm looking forward to trying that out. Next item in the box is from Cowshed and it's Wild Cow and it's invigorating body lotion. So I really like the smell of Cowshed products. That smells really nice. So it smells like the hand cream um, from Cowshed, which I can't really describe the scent. I suppose it's a little bit botanical. Again, it reminds me of cocktails. I don't know why all these beauty scents remind me of cocktails, but they just do. They put me in mind of Alchemist and places like that. So yeah, that's nice. I'll be looking forward to trying that too. Next in the box is a mud mask. And this is a facial detox purifying recovery mask. So this is pore refining, hydrating, anti-aging, brightening and smoothing and is also pH balanced. So again, something else I like to try weekly is a face mask. So I will give you a review on this one once I've used it a couple of times. And the last thing in the box this month is this cute little monogrammed glossy box um, like little makeup bag. So this would be really cute for popping in your handbag to take your makeup around with you on the go or even if you're travelling and you need to take some toiletries. Although I think I would need to take several of these to fit everything in that I seem to haul around with me every time I go anywhere. But yeah, this is really cute. 
So that is everything that was in this month's Glossy Box. I hope that you enjoyed the video and a massive happy birthday to Glossy Box. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and if you would like to see more videos soon, please click the subscribe button. It's completely free and it just means that you will be notified when I upload a new video so you will never miss a video again. See you all soon. Bye!